Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to do a port forward on a Stell Sonic wall. So the easiest way to do this that I find um, is literally just using the wizard. So if you click on the wizard up here and go to public server wizard. <clears throat> so we're basically, uh, let, let's say we have a Windows server on our local LAN and we want to allow external access to that RDP server. Now the RDP server, we did change the port on it, so it's not the default 3389, so we actually have to create a custom uh, service for that too. So let's go ahead and get started. So select on the uh, public server wizard, hit next. Then you're gonna do server type, and you're gonna go to other, because we're not trying to open up uh, port 80 or 443, because that's what the web server is. And FTP is 21, mail is 25. Terminal services is actually, uh, 3389 and some other ones, but we're not doing that. So we're just going to do other, and then we're going to create a new service. So the new service wizard comes up. We're going to just name this, I don't know, secure RDP. Then go down to TCP, and we're going to put in our custom uh, port that we want to open up to that uh, server that we have on the local LAN, which is 40781. Hit OK. And like I said, that port might be, you know, uh, 3389 or it might be, you know, 8080 or 8093, 1 or whatever you might have sent your port up. Uh, so now you can see our custom uh, services there. So hit next. And now this is going to be the, where it's pointing to. So uh, let's just type in server uh, RDP. So we know this is the RDP server. So uh, this is going to be the local IP address, the private IP, uh, and that is going to be 10, for us at least, 10.10.30.25. .10 um, and if you want to uh, put a comment about if it's for a client or, you know, whatever it might be, uh, you can put that there. So go ahead and hit next. Now this is going to be our external public address. Mine is cleared out. Um, but it's going to show you a public IP. And, and the reason why it's shown you this is because so you know what external IP is going to translate that port number two to the local IP. So what that means is once we open up this port, we're going to use this public IP to connect to that port. So uh, once we set this up, then we can open up an RDP shell and put in that external public IP that we see right in this page. And then we do colon, uh, you know, 40781 and hit connect. And then I'll connect to that server. So, uh, or let's say you have multiple IPs. And you and you don't want to use this IP, and you want to maybe use you know a second IP like uh, you know whatever your other IPs might be. You can you know put that in here. So that's kind of nice that you can change that right here on the fly. So we only have one IP, so we're going to leave that alone. So hit next, and then hit apply. And this is going to create all the NAT uh, rules, all the the firewall rules, the incoming rule, and and everything for you. Um, so this is a nice utility to just be able to do it on the fly. I mean, within three minutes, we have it set up. So this is a really nice tool. When it's done loading, you can see congratulations. <clears throat> it is all done and dandy. Go ahead and hit close. Um, and now we have our port open. And it's that simple. And like I said, you will open up the wizard here again. Um, so what this is great for is if you want to set up um, another port for like let's say your email server or for a web server I mean it's that easy you just click on the wizard public server wizard hit next you know if it is a web server you know what port you know let's say you just had 443 open and that's it you know you can just check that or if you want both hit next put in that local IP and done I mean it's that simple and that easy to do okay great that wraps it up and hope you guys enjoyed this video